It all okay, started what, what, when that like teacher to asked the kids what would they like to be when they grow up. I want to be a fireman. For only being in first grade, one kid had a really interesting career. And what would you like to be? And her name was Dana. And what do you want to be? I want to be an oncologist. Like oncologist? What are you going to do with that? Carry cancer cancer. Really? Find a cure for cancer. And what award are you going to win for all that hard work? The Nobel Peace Prize. Teacher Mr. Nunn was very impressed oh, by that. Nice. So was her classmate. Dana read every book that she can find on cancer, being an oncologist, and anything on that topic. She was determined to be successful. Her teacher, Mr. Nunn, once told her, those who read the most, know the most, earn the most money. And she believed. Then one day, the perfect patient came to see Dr. Dana. Send in Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee has memory loss. Check one. Hi, Mr. McGee. I understand you have brain cancer. Yes, ma'am. I have a real hard time thinking. I guess my mind is not as as shape as it used to be. Oh, you mean as sharp as it used to and be? And he's also oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah. chocolate junkie. Sorry Check two. Heard that, but according to my notes, you don't smoke, but you eat chocolate seven days a week. I'm just crazy for that chocolate. Oh, so you have And cancer yes, cancer he has cancer, cancer in his family. Yeah, Check yeah, three. Yeah, yes, on my dead side of the family. I see Mr. McGee, do you, do you experience a migraine headache? It was no doubt he was the perfect patient for her new procedure. Mr. McGee, will be, that will be contrary. It's a kind of image that will show the affected areas and layers. I will mark the color of the cancer so you can so we can avoid the tissue. Do you have any questions? Will I be okay, doctor? Mr. McGee, I can't promise you anything until that country process is complete. But what I can promise you is that I will work very hard to fight this for you. In fact, I create nuclear and equipment that will make you... No worries, Mr. Course. Jabari. You are in good hands. Okay. We can see the cancer in your brain. I think with radiation and treatment and using my new equipment should do the job. Let's continue. Hello, Mr. Jabari. My name is Dr. Hall, and I'll be assisting Dr. Dana today. You're in good hands, okay? Good hands. Okay. While Dr. Hall took his vitals, Dr. Cassandra managed the okay. contour machine. Again. Doctor, we're prepped and ready for surgery. My machine and is Dr. Dana ready. prepared for surgery. That's one thing Dr. Dana always believed a doctor should have, is good bedside manners. Okay, you're going to be in good hands. All we're going to do is knock you out and then we're going to get to work. Those kind words from the doctor put Jabari at ease. He's out. Night, night. He's out. Change the font, adjust it on the brain. A little to the left, to the left, Dr. Hall. Alrighty. Alrighty. Put this here. Change the font a little bit. Adjust it. Alrighty. Okay. 
Sandra, how is it, how is it going over there? It's coming through crystal It was clear. time to try Dr. Working. Dana's Now for my new invention. Put this on Dr. Dr. Tate. Hall Wait. doubted the whole procedure How is this even going to work? This, oh, this is so in the future. Yep, it sure is. Let's see if it works. Sure. Later, Jabari's hair grew back amazingly. But he had one thing on his mind. Was he cancer free? And Dr. Dana turned around. Jabari was cancer free. And accepting the Nobel Peace Prize for curing cancer, Dana Guerrero. Thank you for the Nobel Peace Prize. Thank you. You're welcome. Her old teacher, Mr. Nunn, just couldn't believe she did it. Wow, he was impressed. <laughs> <laughs> 